Lancaster has texted whether you agree with this man or not to place him on the same list as terrorists is farcical. Travis has loved to see a debate between the band guy from the US and the Home Secretary. And uh, Nick in London, American Talk Radio, is inherently more honest than its British counterpart as it is open to all views and creates an environment of equal opportunity hate where all views are aired and no one gets hurt. The issue is that in America the First Amendment was written to protect offensive speech. We don't need a First Amendment to protect polite speech, do we? I mean, everyone engages in polite speech. What do we need protections for? It's speech which provokes thought that is considered offensive and hateful by those who disagree with you, isn't it? And so therefore, it's only speech we're talking about, not the acts of murderers. And to lump me in with murderers is defaming me. It's libeling me. It's the show you've all been waiting for all weekend. It's the Savage Nation. There's no other show in radio worth listening to today. Sure, you can hear people talking about Obama's budget and how it's obscene. There's no other word for it. Wanting to give health care to illegal aliens. They're insane. The whole Democrat Party is in disrepair and crazy. Even the liberals are turning on them because they understand that they have children. And the children cannot become indentured servants to pay for Obama's egomania and the uh, Democrats' corruption. But you've heard that all day long on other shows. The reason you're tuning into the Savage Nation is because of the fact that on Saturday night, there was a story that appeared in Britain saying that the ban on Michael Savage, in essence, you think it said that, had been lifted. That Michael Savage's name has been li lifted from the banned in the UK list. Well, that's not what the article said. It is not at all what the article said. Some reports in the United States based on the piece in the Daily Mail on Sunday morning that the ban on Michael Savage had been lifted are untrue. The article doesn't say that at all. But I want to back up and tell you that I am heartened to a certain extent by the movement in this direction. What happened Saturday night was this. And incidentally, you can read the article on michaelsavage.com. Those of you near a computer, go to it. You can't find it anywhere else. For a while, it appeared for 24 hours on Drudge. He dropped it for today, which I'll never understand this. Today was the big day, and Matt posted it Saturday night and ran all the way Sunday. And it's gone on Monday when you really want to see it. But it's up on michaelsavage.com, the original article, and the World Net Daily article saying, Savage, pack your bags for England. But let me give you the background on this. Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Michael is having a vodka and uh, grapefruit juice. Michael is pondering the view of San Francisco Bay. Michael is thinking about things. Phone rings. Joe Farah, his friend and colleague from World Net Daily, says, Have you seen the article that was just posted? Michael's heart thumped. He said, Oh, God, no, more bad news. I said, What, what more bad news? He said, No, 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 no. He said, They're... They're dropping the list of those banned from traveling to the U.K., including you and including everyone else on the list, including the Hamas murderers. I said, well, okay, uh, that's not a good sign, but at least I'm free. He said, well, what are, your, what are your reactions? Here were my reactions to Joe Farris Saturday night. One, I am stunned. Two, I'll believe it when I see it. And three, I want a letter of apology. Those are exactly my positions right now. But as a matter of fact, many uh, of my friends and colleagues sent me emails congratulating me, saying, Savage, you struck a great blow for freedom of speech. Thanks for fighting. Thanks for having the fortitude. Thanks for standing up to, the, uh, to, to Jackie Smith. Thank you for getting your name off the list and for standing for freedom of speech, even for liberals who you detest and who detest you. I wish it was all true. I wish I could say we're going to celebrate today, but we can't celebrate quite yet. Because uh, we haven't seen it in writing. All we saw was a report from the Daily Mail that said that the uh, Home Secretary ditches least wanted list as a blunder. That was the article. The way it was reported on the Drudge Report was a little different. Uh, Savage travel ban lifted by UK. He's free to travel to England. Well, I don't know if I'm free. I've been invited to give a big speech there, I believe, by one of the major debating societies at one of the major universities. I had not intended to go to England. I might go to England if the ban is lifted. And they'll find out that I'm 
a very humane, sane man who is concerned about not only freedom of speech for myself, but for my political opposition, and also for the threats to the survival of Western nations owing to radical Islam and the inroads being made by radical Islamists in Britain, the United States, France, and Germany. Those are facts of reality. There's nothing new in what I have said. And so over the weekend, as I said, the British newspaper, the Daily Mail, reports that Home Secretary Alan Johnson, who is the man who replaced Jackie Smith, is planning to end the policy of, quote, naming and shaming people banned from Britain. This does not mean that I, Michael Savage, have been taken off England's banned list. It does not mean that I have been taken off a list which includes murderers and terrorists. doesn't mean that at all. But I think that the British government understands that Jackie Smith was a uh, loose cannon, whatever. Putting my name on a list was a gimmick. And making it impossible for me to travel to uh, Britain was a huge mistake for the people of Britain and for the government of the Labour Party. And so they're on the right track. But it really is about you. It's about a case of one man and my devoted audience of listeners who would not be intimidated, would not be bullied, and would not go gentle into that good night. Yeah, I was banned by a major Western country. I still may be banned. I don't know. But this is a fight that I and my listeners have been waging. Now, there are some in the media who realize the threat to freedom of speech and spoke out about my case over the last three months. You know, I look in my yard right now, and my tomatoes are coming up, in, in, in the fruits now are red. And the uh, pears are starting to become ripe. This whole thing started when I put the seedlings in the ground. You say, well, it's only three months. It's been three months of hell. Three months of hell, three months of fearing that next I'd be banned in another country, then another country, then another country, and I'd wind up a man without a country. And I believe that this has been orchestrated by the United States government in the Obama administration because they would never do a frontal assault on talk radio. Instead, they try to use me as a canary in the mine shaft to see what would happen by going around the back door and trying to defame me uh, with sound bites taken out of context. There were some in the media who realized the threat to freedom of speech and spoke, spoke out about my case. Hosts such as Laura Ingram, Rusty Humphreys, and Jerry Doyle spoke out strongly in my defense. Even Bill O'Reilly, my antagonist, though he did it grudgingly, spoke out against my being banned from England and what it really meant. But there are others who are the real ones who should be named and shamed. Here in the United States, where was the U.S. State Department? Where was the so-called Defender of Liberties, the ACLU, when we needed them? And what about those conservatives in the media who, who wrapped themselves in the flag, who said nothing? Well, I'll let you decide. So it's not yet time for Michael Savage to pack his bags for England. Yes, I think it's a sudden sign of sanity if this does happen. And I was stunned by U.K. Home Secretary Alan Johnson's decision to scrap his predecessor's list of people banned from Britain. Those are all true words, as published by uh, Joe Farah in World Net Daily, which, again, you can only find directly on michaelsavage.com. They're, they're still somewhere, but they've been lost into the ethers. It's a huge story. Michael Savage, pack your bags to England. Well, I don't know that I'm ready to go for it, but I won't believe it until they send a letter to me confirming it. I would also demand an apology from Jackie Smith. You see, Smith had no right to put Savage in America, from America, on the same list as a former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard, gang leaders in Russia serving 10 years for killing immigrants, and a Hezbollah militant who smashed in the head of a four-year-old Jewish child with a rifle butt after killing her parents. Just last Friday, Jackie Smith, who did this to me, she actually admitted she was not up to being home secretary. She said she should have been given some training for the job before being named. Can you believe this? Well, as I, as I said to you earlier, it's because of listeners like you that I, Michael Savage, who does not advocate violence, who instead advocates patriotic traditional values, meaning borders, language, and culture, it's because of you that this battle is still going on. And I think that banning Michael Savage says more about the government of England than it does about me. If you'd like to comment on this, the phone number is 1-800-449-8255. 1-800-449-8255. MichaelSavage.com has all the articles. 
Let us have a little music, Ray, and then we'll be right back to take the calls, and I'm going to read a letter from my lawyer. 